So let's go ahead and make a uh, floating point variable. Basically that's um, just a really big number. You can type in f to make one of these or you can type in float. Basically this is just going to store variable um, and the other thing we're going to want to do is add one to it every once in a while. So make plus space one as your next object. Uh, and this is actually kind of interesting. Um, a little bit complicated. What uh, happens when you trigger an object is there's uh, two types of inlets. Uh, there's a cold inlet and the hot inlet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this uh, variable and add one to it. But uh, if we hooked it into the left side, um, it would just continue to go in a loop and it would never stop adding to itself. So it'd start an endless loop. So what we're going to do is put it into the um, cold outlet on the right. Uh, and basically this is only evaluated when uh, it's, uh, it receives a bang um, or uh, something happens on the left inlet. Um, it's kind of weird until you get used to it, but when you put it in the right outlet, it's only going to be evaluated. When you want it to be evaluated, um, when you put it in the left, it's going to be constantly re-evaluated. Uh, one thing you'll want to do is make a bang object to actually uh, cause that re-evaluation. So put your bang object there. And let's go ahead and put a number box in just by copying and pasting it so that we can see exactly what's happening. And hook it up and go to your run mode. And each, you can see each time it's triggered, it's adding one. So it's taking the variable, adding one to it, putting it back into the float, and each time that variable is replaced now, um, in the float. Now what we'll want to do in order to uh, get this to count through is we'll want to loop through all 16 of those uh, numbers that we made. Um, so it's going to count up and repeat that in a loop. So we're going to use a modulus. Um, that basically divides it and gives you the remainder. Um, so it's basically like division while rounding off. Uh, it's easier to see what's going on when you have it plugged into number boxes. So we'll make a few of those and let's go ahead and trigger that. And you'll see as we uh, get closer to uh, 16. Um, well, as soon as we hit 16, it's going to be zero again because 16 divides in evenly. And we're going to go back up to uh, 16 again until it divides in evenly. And basically, we'll just loop through that. So uh, now that we actually have that working, we can go ahead and plug that into the uh, table read object that we had sticking around uh, earlier. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, reorganize some stuff here. That way we'll be able to uh, plug that in and you can see everything that's happening. Go ahead and make sure that the objects are plugged into each other and hit that first bang and you should have a melody that sounds kind of like that. And now if you don't feel like clicking this every time you want to advance to the next note, you can go ahead and make a metro object and that's short for metronome and it will uh, go ahead and trigger every time with the delay in milliseconds as one of its creation arguments, so that's going to trigger every 100 milliseconds. Another thing that would be good to go over is the actual uh, built-in help. You just right-click on an object and click help, and that should show you pretty much a very basic uh, help file catered to that specific object. So let's go ahead and uh, hook up that metro object, and just like before on our counting numbers, we can start this by using a bang. So go ahead and hook the bang in, and you can go ahead and stop it with a message box that says stop. Let's go ahead and make one of those. And you just type it in and hook it up. And as soon as we get that hooked up, let's go ahead and hit the uh, start button. And you can hear our melody. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and hopefully that should be enough to get you started in uh, the world of PD. All right, thanks for watching.